Hey guys, Mamie here with OneJoyousSkip.com. Thanks so much for joining me today. I am going to be doing a project today using some stamps from SweetStampShop.com and we are doing a collaboration this month with Chibitronics and it's going to be a really, really fun project and super simple. So anybody who uh, is trying Chibitronics for the first time can follow along and do this for sure. So everything that I used in this video is listed down below in the description box. So check that out in case you want to pick something up. And we're going to start our card project by stamping the present from the What She Said stamp set. This is a new release from Sweet Stamp Shop this month of October. And I'm going to use this Fossilized Amber Distress Oxide. And I'm going to do a second generation stamping. So that means I stamp off the first bit on some scratch paper and then I stamp it the second generation onto the cardstock and what that does is just gives me a lighter a lighter color so that I can create a background but the background won't overtake the card and it still adds interest so uh, the distress oxides um, can stay wet for a long time so you either want to set it aside and let it dry or later on in the video I'll show you something else that I do to speed up that process and the drying time and then next I'm going to take the cake from the What She Said stamp set as well. And I'm going to do the same thing as I did with a present and do a second generation stamping. And I'm using Bristol Smooth cardstock. I love this cardstock for um, blending any kind of inks that can be blended. And the Distress Oxides can be blended. So I'm taking my water brush there and coloring in some of the areas. And I also stamped off to the side or smushed off rather to the side some different colors of distress oxides and brought those colors in to color in this piece of cake and that just gives me a kind of no line water coloring effect um, it doesn't give you the harsh black lines and sometimes it's fun to do it this way and so I just decided to give it a nice soft effect to do it this way instead of stamping in the dark black ink and I'm taking my water brush and I'm diluting a little bit of that color down for some areas and I didn't really do very much shading um, just really colored it in and I'm also coloring in the sprinkles as well and if you can't see the sprinkles it's fine you can just put them in wherever looks good to you <laughs> and so I'm using um, wilted violet cracked pistachio and I think the pink is um, worn lipstick so I'm almost done coloring in this little cake piece here. I think it's looking really cute. So I'm gonna move on to cutting some vellum. And vellum is just a clear, uh, kind of frosty looking paper. And it, it adds detail and makes your card look pretty. So, um, and it also pushes those, um, but that background back to the back so that it doesn't overtake the focal point of the card. And so I'm gonna stamp now with the happy HBTU, HBT, HB2U, so happy birthday to you. And that's from the birthday sentiment stamp set from Sweet Stamp Shop. And I'm using the Wilted Violet to stamp that. And I'm gonna do that a few times because vellum is a real slippery paper. And so you have to be careful not to press too hard or it'll just kind of push the ink out. And so I'm just very easily going over the top and layering that color on there. And so, like I said, the ink stays wet for a really long time. So I just took some clear embossing powder and sprinkled that over the top of the sentiment here. And I'm gonna heat that up. And it gives you a nice little shiny raised effect to your sentiment, but it also dries your ink instantly so that you don't have to have a wait time for that. And now I'm pulling out the Chibitronics um, light collection and it comes with some copper tape and batteries and a few different light choices and i'm trying to make sure that i have obviously if you can't tell by now i'm going to have the candle lit up on the birthday cake so it's just gonna be one light very simple anybody can do it but you need to create a little bit of a housing for the battery so that way the light doesn't stay on the whole time where you can just push it and turn the light on so it's a lot easier and it doesn't waste your battery and so I'm taking this copper tape here and I'm gonna run along both sides of that dot. That dot is where the light is gonna go. And so you take your switch, this is my switch, it's just some copy paper that I cut in half the size of the battery so that it can house the battery. Take that copper tape and run that along and connect it right to the little panel that I made there to hold the battery. And the thing is, the copper tape has to be 
all along one line um, and you can't let it touch the other copper tape so they need to stay separate and I also need to be able to have that switch um, fold over so you have to kind of turn a little bit of some corners so that you can have that tape going onto a flush surface on your switch as you can see what I'm doing here um, I'm turning it so that I can have it go over that flap and then inside of the flap this is the only tricky part and once you have it kind of figured out it's really easy after that you just have to you know remember that um, it needs to be stuck along a surface you can't just have it like free flying in the air because then that tape will just break down so um, make sure that you have it flush to the paper and uh, it comes with these little lights and this starter pack comes with several different colored lights it comes with more of the white lights so that they are really great for like stars or you know something like that and then there's also um, some yellow and red and blue and I'm using the white light here and I'm going to put the negative part of the battery onto the negative side of the um, light and you can see it there it shows you there's a plus and a minus on that light so you can tell where it's supposed to go so the light lights up and it was a little bit too um, white for my taste and I wanted to use the yellow because that would look more like a candle and as far as uh, this card goes and so I changed that out very easily for a yellow and I think that looks a lot better and I'm gonna go with that so the next part of using these chibi tronics on a card an interactive card is making sure that you have housing around the battery so the battery doesn't slip around and also making sure that you have your layer your card layered up high enough so that you can continue to push that button and still have room for the button to release itself and so all that means basically is you need to have at least three layers of foam tape and so right now I'm doing a double layer and I'm gonna put that, the, put that around the housing to hold the battery in place. And you can put this tape right across the topper, the, this foam tape across the, co the copper tape, it's fine. And after I do the first double layer, I will move on to just putting one more layer on the top. And that's also gonna help me because I'm gonna keep the backing on this tape so that I can make sure that the card is lining up correctly so that the light is shining through where the candle is gonna go. So that's what I'm doing here. I've got that, that last layer here. So I've got three layers thick of foam tape all around. And the battery is working and the light is working. You wanna check that periodically just to make sure you didn't mess anything up. And I've got my little one in there really excited about this little light and he was like, I wanna make one too. So, um, you know, you can also do this with your kiddos. So I haven't done it with him yet, but I now that I see he's got some interest and we'll probably be building some stuff pretty soon. And so here I was able to see through the cardstock where that light was, and so I created a little hole there. I'm gonna push that hole through, make sure it's big enough so that that light can shine through, but not so big that you have, you know, this big, huge hole in the middle of your card. And you're not gonna be able to see that hole at the end of the video, and I'll show you how to do that as well. So now I'm just making sure that the light shines through the hole and it looks good. So now I can adhere that panel down onto the element itself. And then I've got little fingers in there trying out that light again. So I layered that on there and it's looking good and it's nice and semi-even. <laughs> and then I've got this vellum piece here and that also helps um, where the light isn't so direct, it's more of a, like a glowing light. That vellum kind of helps disperse that light a little bit. So I put a little bit of glue on that vellum and put that down on the card as well. And now I'm just making sure I have my piece of cake where the candle lights up right on top of the candle. I'm just gonna glue that down into place. And when you put glue on vellum, it can cause it to fold quite a bit. But I'm using this glue by Nuvo, and I was able to put little dots of glue underneath the vellum so that uh, I could hold it into place. And surprisingly, it didn't show up. So it's good, it's nice and clear, clear glue as far as I have found. So I took some of that fossilized amber and I'm just coloring in a little flame on top of where that hole is. And so now it just looks like a flame and then when you push the button, it's even more yellow. It looks even more like a flame from a candle. 
So here I am adding that bit of glue, just a tiny, tiny dab, just to hold that vellum into place so that it won't bend up on me. And there is our element working nicely, and I'm showing you guys here in a dark room how much it, bright, it lights up. And then finally, I'm gonna be adding some sequins, just kind of putting that all over. Um, I like the organic kind of random look to the sequins, so I just kind of sprinkled them over the top of the card and then glued down some of the ones that I liked and then let the rest of them fall out, fall off the card. And then I can just add some in here or there wherever I need. And that's pretty much the card for today. I had a really great time using this product from Chibitronics and I can't wait to use it again. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something new. And thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching this video. And make sure to stop by sweetstampshop.com and check out all their latest products. And make sure to hit like and subscribe. See you in the next video.